Hi everybody! Today I'm going to do a makeup tutorial using some shadow scents and lip scents and then I'm also going to go through some of the other products that I have used already to kind of get my um, face ready for the day. Um, so I'm going to start with that. So I already used my 3-in-1 normal to dry cleanser. Um, it's super nice and then you can just use it whenever you want. You can use it by itself. Um, I like to use it with the daytime moisturizer and as you can see it has an airless pump so you get like every single ounce of it. And this is normal to dry as well and it comes in four different um, collections. So if you're ever wondering like what you want to use, um, I'm more than willing to help you find the one you want. So <clears throat> after I use this, I use my facial resurfacer. I do this twice a week. Uh, once on Monday and um, once on Thursday. And you can pick whatever days you want. I just picked that because it was easiest with my schedule. But um, it's really nice. It's, oh, I need to say this right, it's Van <laughs> Vanuatu Volcanic Ash. I think I said that wrong, but um, it's very cool because we're the only company that's allowed to use this um, volcanic ash. So, And then after that, when I get out of the shower and everything. I like to use my climate control. Um, funny story, it has saran wrap on it because I accidentally dropped it and um, it like it has a little crack but I just didn't want it to dry out so um, I put saran wrap around it. It's fine. Um, it's this is like my favorite thing. Um, it helps keep the moisture in especially if you have like a really um, dry complexion or um, like I work in a dry environment so it really helps like keep all that moisture in when I'm running around all day um, but I love it love it and then once I put that on then I put this daytime moisturizer on and that kind of helps seal everything in now I'm gonna be getting my color correcting tinted moisturizer tomorrow and um, otherwise I would have added that in the video but that helps reduce redness and we'll talk about that in um, the upcoming weeks, but I'm really excited about that as well. And then I'll go through the other products I use too, but I start with these um, every day um, in the fall. The facial resurfacer just twice a week. So now we're going to get started on the shadow scents. So I'm going to use three colors, sandstone, pearl shimmer, mocha java shimmer, and garnet or garnet, whatever you want to call it. I call it garnet. Um, so, yeah, and then we're going to start with the base of candlelight. Pretty simple. Um, this is my first time doing this, so be nice. And um, yeah, let's get started. So, I like to put this just a little bit on as a base. And I do this every single time. That's just my computer. It might do that a couple times. Mm -hmm. I just really like to cover the lid. Okay, now I kind of let that dry because I don't want that to mix with any of the other colors I'm going to be using. Um, if you want to blend, you want to make sure that you um, do it right away before it dries. Because it just takes a couple seconds to dry and then it's fine. Um, I also want to tell you, if you're ever wanting to look at other makeup tutorials, there's plenty of stuff on YouTube. That's how I kind of started and figured out what I wanted to do. Um, my favorite person, um, I'm probably going to say this wrong and I apologize, but Sierra, um, Ciara, I think it's Sierra, but she's um, really good. She's got a bunch of makeup tutorials on YouTube and she kind of show, walks you through everything and she's really funny too. Um, I've posted on, about her a couple times in the Facebook group. So, yeah. Anyways, we're going to start with Mocha Java Shimmer. Um, this is going to go right in the crease, and we're just going to use a little bit. And this, like, if you can kind of see, has a lot of product on it. It's kind of hard to focus. But um, I kind of just like to, you know, kind of clean it up a little bit. I'm weird like that. Other people might not, but... Yeah, that's just me. It's 
I'm gonna go right in the crease. Just like that. And I like to do um, kind of just nice and easy swipes, kind of back and forth, and then kind of go up a little bit into that eyebrow arch. Kind of give it a little bit of that shadow, and back down. Just like that. Okay. And I like to do one eye at a time, otherwise if you're going back and forth, I found that it's um, really easy for um, it to dry and then it's hard to blend. Um, so yeah, one of my tips of the day. And then I'm going to take, I should have showed you, I'm going to take Garnet, you can kind of see it. <clears throat> this is um, our, well right now it's our darkest brown, permanent brown, because rustic brown, which I think is beautiful, I personally don't have it, but I really want to get it, um, if I can. It's limited edition, and it's already sold out like twice, and the fact that it's back really makes me want to buy it, but not right now. So we're going to put this just a little bit in the corner, kind of, just a little bit. And then we're going to kind of just blend this out. And I kind of like to make it go across the lid a little bit. Um, you'll see why in a minute. But then kind of get in the crease there. Sorry for my weird faces. I'll just have to deal with it. I mean, who else? Who doesn't like open their mouth when they're putting makeup on? It's like impossible not to. And Austin makes fun of me for it all the time. So I'm going to pause this real quick because I'm using the video cam as my mirror. So I'm just going to go in the um, bathroom real quick and make sure it still looks okay. So it actually looked really good. Um, the, the video, like the camera just makes it look a little distorted, but it's fine. Um, so now we're going to do Sandstone Pearl Shimmer. And this is honestly one of my favorite colors. I use this all the time. I use it on my lid. Um, and I love also Pink Opal Shimmer. Um, it's you can kind of see, kind of, that it's a lighter pink, but they're both perfect for like highlighting and I'm um, just kind of making that eyelid pop. So again, we're going to kind of clean off the tip a little bit, but then we're just going to go right in here. Not a lot, because we'll kind of build on it if you want to make it more. Um, but I use my finger for this because it's easier to kind of blend it out. Okay. I think that actually looks pretty good. Again, I'm going to pause it real quick to make sure it looks okay. Um, but I think it looks, I think it looks pretty good. So I'll be right back. Okay, it actually looked really good again. I'm just paranoid because it's my first time doing this. Um, but then, so you can kind of see just a little bit, but that's why I kind of wanted to go out more with Garnet. Um, because then the sandstone pearl shimmer is going to cover it and it's going to blend. Um, it's going to make that nice like smoky eyeshadow effect. This is my smoky um, eyeshadow effect. I know it's not like your basic one, but it's pretty simple if you don't like want to go out like all the way in the beginning. Um, and then what I like to do is I like to kind of get a little bit under the eye again to make that smoky eye effect. Um, so we're going to do Mocha Java Shimmer. My personal rule of thumb is that if I take one and I put it in the crease like this, then I'm also going to put it down here. Kind of just give it that whole stuff. So what I do is I don't want that much product, but there's some right here. So I just kind of dab it just a little bit. You'd be surprised what a little bit does. And we're just going to go right under the eye. Oh, 
Okay. Yeah, it looks good. Okay, and then I'm just gonna go a little bit up here. <clears throat> Mocha Java Shimmer is a beautiful cover color. I also really like the matte, um, but I just wanted to use the shimmer today because it's one of my favorites. Okay, so my one eye is done. Um, now we're gonna go to the other eye. Like I said, it's really easy to go do one at a time. Otherwise, you're like rushing to finish and that's not fun. So we're just gonna do the other eye really quick. As I'm doing this, I realize that I should have like a mini personal mirror. Uh, for those of you who know, I have a little sister. Her name's Ella. Um, she's adorable. But I gave her my personal mirror because she said she needed one. And of course, I'm like, yeah, sure. And now I'm regretting that decision. But that's okay. The nice thing about Shadow Sense is that you can start light and then you can blend out even more. Um, it's amazing. I love it. I got stuff on my computer. Okay, so then we're going to take Garnet again. I love this. I use it all the time. I also really love... I'll grab it in a minute here, but I also really love our Bandana Shimmer. That's a limited edition color, but I was hoping they'd come out with a red because um, cause I feel like it would be really like pretty for fall, and they did. And I love Shadow Sense. It's like one of my favorite products we have. Probably my favorite product. Okay, it's really hard to do this because I'm left-handed, but I've done it before. I'll do it again. Sorry, this is my computer telling me I need to make space for it. Sometimes, like I, I like to have a clean eye and some people just go with it, which is fine, but that's, my opinion is I like to just have a clean eye, so I'll kind of clean it up a little bit. Not too much, just a little bit though. It looks good. Sometimes I'll go back over here just a smidge. It's kind of hard to like balance it out, but once you get um, used to it, you just kind of do a little bit on each side, and it works just fine. Perfect. So, then I'm going to take Sandstone Pearl Shimmer again, and we're just going to go a little bit on the lid. This is your basic, everyday look. I'm pretty sure it's even called that. Like, I have a bunch of eye trios on my Facebook page. And you could wear this whenever you want. It's easy because it's not, um, it's easy because it's not like dark colors and it's not going to, to be hard to blend. Plus, you can never go wrong with some browns. I like, brown goes with every single eye color. Green, hazel, even brown itself. I have like blue green eyes, so it really makes them pop. Okay, and now we're gonna do Mocha Java again right underneath on the eye here. And if this tutorial goes well, I might do some other ones. We'll see. I had today off, so it was easy to do this. Okay, so now my eyeshadow is done. It actually looks really good. Um, 
I'm gonna sh I'm gonna do the mascara in the bathroom because I realize it'll probably be hard to do it. Maybe once I get like the base layer down, I'll come out here and put more on. But all of you guys should know how to put mascara on. But what I like to do um, is so I really love our new Volume Intense Lash Sense. It is like the best ever. I have it in black because I really like it when my um, eyelashes are super black. But um, there's also non-waterproof and that's just as amazing. I hear um, from my good friend Heidi. She also sells all this stuff. But I might have to try it. But I love this stuff. It's amazing. So we do have our under sense product still and what you can do is you can put it on first and it kind of turns your eyelashes blue and then it like seals in that moisture and it also adds a base for this you don't have to um honestly i only have used this a couple times for like special events when i really want to make sure my eyelashes look voluminous but otherwise i just use this because it's pretty much under sense but i think they're still going to sell this I'm just gonna, you know, hold on to it. And I still have my old mascara. I was using CoverGirl, but after I got this, it's really hard to go back. So what I like to do, I'll see if I can do it on here. I like to just curl my eyelashes. Now I've been told I have really long eyelashes by a couple people. And they're always like, well, you don't need, you don't need mascara. Um, yeah, I do. Okay. And you can already see, like, the color change and how pigmented it is and how much volume it adds. This takes talent, people. You don't realize how hard it is to do this. Also, a thought going through my mind right now is, will people watch this for the makeup tutorial? Or will they watch this to see if I make a fool out of myself? Either one. And then I like to put some of my lower lashes now, I'm not a big eyeliner girl. Um, we do have some great eyeliner products. I personally haven't got them. I personally haven't gotten them just because, um, excuse me, just because I haven't had a need to yet, but I definitely want to try it. I used to wear pencil all the time in high school. I feel like that was the thing, especially on the waterline. And then when I got to college, I was like, mm, not for me. You can already see the length that it has. It's just the main thing. So I'm gonna go pause, I'm gonna pause this and then I'm gonna go finish this up in the bathroom. And then I'll be back to show you the finished product. <clears throat> okay, so as you can see, I only did, I did like two layers and it's already super long. I apologize, my camera isn't the greatest, but it's actually pretty good and it's been doing really well for this tutorial. So now we're going to go on to the lip sense. What I like to do is I like to prime my lips with um, the Oops Remover because it just kind of gets rid of like dead skin and everything and I shouldn't say dead skin, it gets rid of like any previous color that's on there and it just kind of gets your lips ready. Um, 
So this is another thing I wanted to talk about every night. Well, I try to do every night, I'll be honest, but um, every night I like to wear a lip balm. Um, I should grab it here. It's behind me. Um, I like to wear a lip balm to bed, and um, it just, it's amazing, guys. I'm not even kidding you. If you have chapstick, don't use it. Get this stuff. It's amazing. And I've had it for a while, so you only need a little bit. And then um, before I do that, I like to do the Lip Smooth. Um, it's an exfoliator. Some of you guys have it. I know this. Um, but you can kind of see. You just put a little bit on your lips. I found what works best for me is putting it on my lips and then rubbing it on there. And then I like to go um, over with the lip balm once I've wiped this stuff off. It gets rid of all that dead skin. It makes your lips amazing super soft um and you only have to live and then leave this on for a while and then we'll wipe it off perfect it had a little bit of color but not much okay so like i said we're gonna do rose all day you really want to shake it um you want to make sure you do it up and down and not side to side um, because the, the tip in there, you don't want it to, um, like, break off. Because that's something that could happen. Um, and you really want to shake it to get all the molecules around. Because there are molecules in there that bind to your lips to make sure the color stays. And also, so that the gloss that we have makes it easier for it to go through. So, I think that should be pretty good. Pretty good. I shaked it a little bit before the video too. Now we'll see how easy this is to do. You want to make sure that your lips are clean and dry. Now, don't laugh because what I'll probably do is I'll probably put like one layer on and I'll dry and we'll see how it goes. If I have to, I'll pause and go to the bathroom. Probably won't say anything because my lips will be spread apart. Trust me, Austin tries to talk to me all the time when I'm doing this, and he's like, why aren't you talking? Because I'm doing my makeup. Okay. So you really want to make sure you have, like, no product on here. You want very thin layers. It'll work the best, especially with rosé all day. I've noticed that if you put more layers on, um, it gets, like, if you put thicker layers on, it's easier for it to come off. But I wanted to do rosy all day because it's a beautiful fall day and it's November 1st and it's a great fall color. So, and it's limited edition. So that's always fun. Okay. Okay, so now I'm going to get more product.
perfect. I'm actually really surprised at how well I did that. Okay, so I'm going to go to the bathroom real quick and make sure that my lines look okay. If you're ever like wondering if um, you kind of went out a little bit or um, over on top a little bit, take the oops remover and just kind of go right up against it. And you can take a Kleenex or a napkin and then kind of go along with it. I think I did pretty well. So I'll be right back to check and then we'll go on to one of the last few parts. Okay, so it actually turned out pretty well. I missed a couple of spots so I touched it up, but other than that, pretty good for my first trying to use a webcam to do it. Um, so now I'm going to go over a couple of the last few products I used. Um, <clears throat> I like to use Candlelight if I have any like touch-ups. Um, right now I don't have too many. It's hard to see with the webcam, but um, if I do I just kind of go over with it. But we can thank the amazing skincare line because my face looks really clear right now. So that's amazing. Um, but what I like to use, I like to use um, our Pearlizer um, Make Sense Foundation. This is not the anti-aging stuff because um, my personal opinion is that um, just get the normal stuff, um, especially like if you've never used it before because um, the anti-aging stuff is $10 more and it's like, it's pretty much the same thing. If you really want the anti-aging stuff, do it, but I'm not too worried about it right now. Um, so I like to do just a little, if you can kind of see, just the tiniest amount. A little goes a long way. Just the tiniest. And then I just kind of, this is for highlighter. I should specify highlighter. I, as you can see, I don't really use foundation that much. And so that's why I'm really excited for the color correcting tinted moisturizer that we're gonna, I'm going to be getting because um, that'll be like my foundation. I'm going to try that out, so, um, so we're just going to go right here and just kind of blend it out. Now, if you have a light skin like mine, I'm, I like to joke that I'm like albino, I swear, um, but it's nice because it adds a little bit of shimmer, but not that much, and it blends really well. kind of goes through a little bit. Perfect. Um, you might notice you have a little bit on your hands. My hands are kind of shiny. So I like to do like my nose. And then I'll kind of go up here. Just a little bit. Not a lot. And this is again um, an airless pup pump. I have barely used any. I mean you saw like I used barely anything. So this will last forever. Um, if you really want to try this stuff, we also have tester versions. They come in a smaller like tube than the Shadow Sense and it's only six dollars but I think it's with, with tax it's seven, like six fifty, something like that. And a little goes a long way like I said. So it'll last a long time if you really want to try this stuff. I just got the whole thing because you only live so, um, but I love this stuff. Um, it adds just a little bit of shine, and it's it's amazing. It won't come off. It it put um it I think it has yeah. It even has a little bit like it's um, a mechanical shield, so it covers your face. Like if you have any um like it's not SPF, but it's a mechanical shield, so it covers it when you're out in the sun. All of our products are that, um, just like the daytime moisture moisturizer. So. Um, it's amazing, and um, in my family, my grandma's had um, skin cancer multiple times on her face. Um, so my entire life, I've heard sunscreen, sunscreen, sunscreen. So for these products to have that mechanical shield is amazing. It also we also have the mechanical shield in our lip sense, so you're covered no matter what. Um, the final thing I like to do is take our hydrating facial serum mist um, and kind of spray it on the brush and just kind of go everywhere with it. With this, um, I don't use it like they tell you to. I know, scandalous, um, but what? I like to do this um, just to kind of give my face a little bit of hydration before I go out for the day. Um, it's not a setting spray because all of our products don't smudge. Like once they've dried, they stay on. And those who have tried it know this. 
So I just like to use this for a little hydration. It's not a setting spray. Don't know how many times I have to say that. I just like to use it. So what I do is I'll spray it twice on my brush here. And I'll just kind of go everywhere with it. I love this big fluffy brush. It's amazing. Okay, perfect. So, I know my makeup isn't as amazing as you might see other people do it. Um, there's this amazing Instagram beauty, beauty blogger. Her name is Katie Enos, if I'm saying it right. Enos? I think it's Enos. But she does amazing makeup tutorials. Um, I also love watching those. I like follow her religiously on Instagram. Um, but yeah, that was my makeup tutorial. Um, for those who are wondering, I just used, I forgot to mention, I apologize. I just used a basic, um, basic eyeshadow brush. I actually got this at Target. Like I said before, Sengents, I rarely used makeup. So for me to like have all of this is amazing. Um, so once again, thank you for watching. Um, if you really liked this video, obviously give it a thumbs up. Um, let me know if I should do more in the future or if the basic one is all you want to see. So again, thank you. Love you guys and have a great Thursday.